At Great River Energy, our job is to provide safe, reliable electric service at affordable rates. As part of maintaining a reliable system, all electric utilities must ensure that the area around power lines, known as the right-of-way, remains clear of trees or other vegetation that could interfere with the safe, reliable operation of the line. We're uh, maintaining the vegetation so that it can't fall in those power lines and break the, break the electrical current that allows you to turn your lights on at home or watch TV. Well, I don't think there's anything positive about losing 150-year-old oak trees. There's a lot of landowners that aren't happy with uh, what's going on in their property, and I can uh, sympathize and relate to what, what, they're, what they're feeling. Um, but at the same time, we, we have a job to do, and uh, it's a very important job to maintain these clearances and make sure that everything's safe and reliable out there. All you have to do is watch the news to see that it has to be done. I mean, uh, you saw some of the storms out on the East Coast where people lost power for a week, two weeks sometime. We're regulated to maintain certain clearances at all times federally. We can't just allow things to grow into the lines. We can't just allow them to be uh, overtaking the right of way. We have to maintain them for public safety and reliability. Learn why electric utilities across the nation need to be even more proactive than before about maintaining clear rights of way. And understand what you can plant near power lines and understand what vegetation is not compatible. If you own property where one of our power lines is located, we understand that your trees and landscape are important to you. There wasn't one person that ever came to the area and didn't ask or tell you what they were gonna do first, ask what could they do to make it better. So I have no problems with that at all. They were wonderful. Great River Energy is a not-for-profit electric generation and transmission cooperative. We provide wholesale electric power to the 28 member distribution cooperatives that own us. In doing so, Great River Energy must adhere to many local, state, and federal rules and regulations. As part of the bulk electric system, we must comply with standards established by the North American Electric Reliability Corporation, or NERC. Great River Energy owns approximately 4,600 miles of transmission line. And as part of our effort to keep our rights of way clear, we regularly patrol every mile on our system by air and by ground. During our patrols, we look for anything that might jeopardize the safe, reliable operation of our system. This includes tall or fast-growing trees located too close to our power lines. Trees that come in contact with a power line can start on fire or cause short circuits, outages, and unsafe conditions. They can also restrict access for maintenance vehicles. In order to avoid these problems, we continuously maintain our rights of way by mowing, applying herbicides, pruning trees, and removing vegetation that could be hazardous. Trees do not need to directly contact a power line to cause a problem. If a tree grows, sways, or falls too near a power line, electricity can form an arc from the power line to the tree, causing very dangerous situations and outages. How much damage can be caused by one single tree? Here's an example. On August 14, 2003, a tree contacting a power line contributed to a massive cascading power outage that left 50 million people in the Northeast United States and parts of Canada in the dark. The blackout in 2003 was uh, out on the East Coast, Northeastern United States, as well as in Southeastern Canada and it was caused by a, a wire that sagged into a, a, a tree. There were many factors that caused this historic event, but tree contact with a high voltage power line was a significant contributor. Following this, the North American Electric Reliability Corporation instituted a vegetation management standard, mandating no outage can occur as a result of vegetation that could grow or fall into high voltage transmission lines. This includes those transmission lines which operate at 200 kilovolts and above. Great River Energy and other electric transmission utilities are responsible for meeting this mandate and ensuring transmission lines are clear from vegetation at all times. Fines for non-compliance can be as high as $1 million a day, and ultimately those costs are paid for by customers like you.
at least the people we dealt with did a good job of making it uh, easy to deal with and to do and made sure they did their best to do what they could for you. Since this mandate, utilities across the nation have taken a more proactive approach to vegetation management for all of their transmission lines. Trees that would have been pruned in the past are now more often being removed. It's a legal issue we really don't have the right to, and it's really a kind of a safety issue. So um, just understand that people are doing their jobs, and as long as you're good to them, they'll be good to you, from my experience. At first glance, you might see a tree well below a power line and wonder how it could ever interfere with the line. However, keep in mind that many factors can cause changes in the physical properties of transmission line wires. Next time it is extremely hot or cold outside, look at the power line wires on a transmission line. During the extreme heat of summer and the extreme cold of winter, more electricity flows down transmission lines as air conditioners and heating systems work hard to keep us comfortable. This additional loading makes the wires stretch and sag closer to the ground. Suddenly, even trees or vegetation that stand far below the wires on a typical day can become dangerously close to the power line. And I know if a tree fell on the power lines and cut us out of power for a day and a half, we'd be pretty annoyed, so. Um, then also just for the kind of the safety of the neighborhood, if like the way they explained with a tree, uh, when a power line touches a tree or if a tree falls on a power line, could create a fire hazard. Wires can also sway side to side when the wind blows. For these reasons, it is imperative that property owners follow proper guidelines for planting near power lines described in the right tree guide. We have a right tree booklet that indicates what kind of trees can be used on our right-of-ways and proper placement can be for those and uh, what their potential height is. Your options include vegetable gardens, perennial flowers, native grasses or plants, and low-growing ornamental trees or shrubs. If your preference is ornamental trees or shrubs, do not plant anything in the right-of-way without first contacting Great River Energy or your electric provider. Native grasses and plants are hardy, require little or no care, and provide valuable food and habitat for certain insects, birds, and other animals. Examples include milkweed and purple coneflower, which both attract butterflies. If you prefer trees or shrubs, the key is to select low-growing species. Examples include apple trees and lilac bushes. Species that are native to Minnesota include pussy willows and dogwood trees. Again, it is important that you follow guidelines for where to plant to avoid problems in the future. I know what I can plant and what I can't plant now, so they did give us a list and um, those are the ones that we will transplant with. After you figure out your species, you need to find out where to locate that in relation to the power line. So be sure to reference our Right Tree Guide, which can be found on our website. Visit greatriverenergy.com slash right tree. And landowners don't um, have to pay any expense for any, any type of work that we're doing out on the, on the right of ways or on the easement. And again, to avoid any problems in the future, please do not plant anything in the right of way without first contacting Great River Energy or your electric provider. We do not want to have to remove your newly planted trees or vegetation. My supervisor and I are always available to any phone calls that come in and we will meet with landowners on site to discuss the issue. We did a very nice job between uh, taking the stuff down, cleaning the area up, grinding up the stumps, bringing in black dirt, raking it up. I mean, they did a really, really nice job of, of taking care of us. Contact us for more information. Visit greatriverenergy.com slash trees and vegetation or email us at landrights at grenergy.com or call 763-445-5000 and ask for a right-of-way agent. We look forward to your cooperation as we continue to maintain our rights-of-way and provide safe, reliable electric service for you and your family.